All right, we are going to wait just another minute or so as folks join. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, welcome to today's Texas Home Learning Webinar. Uh, my name is Valerie Johnson, and I'm a Director of Strategy and Operations here at TEA. And I'm very excited for today's webinar on Amplify Reading Texas for grades six through eight. As a reminder, during today's session, you can use both the Q&A as well as the chat feature to ask questions. We'll work on addressing these throughout the presentation and then we save time at the end as well for us to chat through any questions that pop up. So today we're going to do a quick overview of Texas home learning and then we're going to spend the majority of our time really diving into the Amplify Reading Texas product. And finally, as always, we'll share how to access these materials and sign up for upcoming webinars. As a reminder, Texas Home Learning is an optional suite of resources that includes our pre-K through 12 instructional materials, our technology, including our learning management system and professional development. And districts can choose to adopt none, part, or all of any of these components. TEA has negotiated a statewide license for Schoology um, for two years for all interested LEAs. And you can go to powerschool.com slash Texas to learn more or join the many districts that have already signed up. As you know, Texas Home Learning is being built to address this current crisis uh, with resources developed specifically for Texas schools. So all instructional materials are being selected through a competitive solicitation process and undergoing a rigorous review process. And we'll continue to make continuous improvements to the materials based on feedback we get from Texas teachers, school and district leaders, and other stakeholders throughout the year. As a reminder, all of our Texas home learning instructional materials include TEKS alignment, formative and summative unit assessments, teacher, student, and family supports, digital formats with printing capabilities, built-in progress monitoring, and accessibility supports for all learners. And although these are designed to be used comprehensively, district schools or teachers can choose to adopt any subset of the materials that they see fit. To date, eight core THL products have been announced. Um, so you can see there what materials are available for each grade level and subject. And today we're actually going to be talking about one of our supplemental products, which is Amplify Reading Texas, uh, specifically for 6-8. So we've partnered with Amplify uh, to offer products across kindergarten through eighth grade, including our core product for K-5 reading language arts in both English and Spanish, as well as a core product for six through eight, Amplify ELAR Texas. And then today we'll be talking about our supplement specifically for six, eight, but we also offer it for K-2 as well. For Amplify Reading Texas 6-8, we are offering a free three-year license to all Texans. So whether you're a district, a school, an individual teacher, or even a caregiver, you can enroll to access the product starting today. And I am very excited to be joined by our partners at Amplify to walk us through exactly what uh, Amplify Reading Texas 6-8 is. And with that, I will turn it over to Melissa. Thank you, Val. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to share Amplify Reading Texas 6-8 with you today. The program teaches students to find deeper meaning in texts by questioning everything they read, from literary classics to in-world propaganda, great speeches to scientific articles. Students learn to analyze the moves authors make to achieve their purposes. The analytical reading skills students hone can be used to read and understand any kind of complex text. In Amplify Reading Texas 6-8, students conduct sustained, thoughtful, and critical analysis of text 
focusing on specific details and patterns in order to understand an author's meaning. The program's goal is for students to formulate arguments about text grounded in evidence that comes from the text themselves. By teaching our students analytical reading, we're preparing them to engage deeply with those complex texts required by high stakes assessments and enabling them to deeply understand and analyze them. We know that this type of reading and working with complex texts are difficult. So we created a program that would motivate students to do the hard work and provide them with the needed supports to be successful. We've created an experience that gives all students an opportunity to engage with complex grade level texts in a way that gives them both a reason to read and a mechanism to apply their skills to their own writing. The program takes the form of a student-driven digital interactive graphic novel called The Last Readers. The story set in a futuristic world where people have little choice over what they read or even think. Our students are taught the powerful techniques authors use to convey meaning and affect their audiences. By learning about things such as claims, evidence, reason, or even word choice and tone, our students acquire skills they can use to ignite their independence and in that of humanity in the story. We know that every classroom of students is different and they represent wide ranges of reading abilities. So the program includes differentiated instruction and feedback, putting students on a path tailored to provide the level of support that each student needs. Within the program, we have a core or main track, but we also have an extra support level. The extra support level is designed for students who are reading below grade level or may have limited English proficiency. The instructional content and text have been adapted or replaced in some, in some cases to support students who can engage in complex, cognitively demanding activities requiring language when providing moderate support. Many texts are rewritten with simpler sentence structures, they use higher frequency words, and sometimes lower level vocabulary so that they are more accessible. Many activities also have scaffolds like sentence frames, close activities with word banks, or step-by-step -step sentence building instructions to help students develop their responses. The program itself includes an age-appropriate student experience, which we'll spend some time looking at together, a series of lessons and unlimited practice, differentiated feedback, and that extra support scaffolding I was mentioning, there's meaningful data and insights for teachers and administrators, and it's really easy to implement. You can implement it as a standalone program or paired with the core reading language arts reading program materials. So like many young adult classics, The Last Readers is a trilogy. Each of the interactive graphic novels, three books, is divided into chapters and each chapter focuses on a particular skill. Chapter topics will alternate between the analysis of arguments and literary analysis, and we do this intentionally. This is because learning science has shown that the mastery and long-term retention improve when skills and topics are interleaved rather than taught in kind of homogenous blocks. Each chapter in The Last Reader is a unit of instruction. So you can really think of each chapter like a unit, and they're bookended by an intro and an outro animation. In between these animations, which kind of set the stage for the uh, device a student will be trained and learning about, um, in between these, the unit will be made up of a series of lessons. First is the interactive instruction. Students will be trained by a last reader on a particular technique that authors use to convey meaning. As students work through interactive instruction and practice with selected short passages, the program seamlessly assesses student progress and provides targeted feedback. So in this way, students are supported in their growth and build confidence in their work. Next, we have the guided analytical reading. We've developed a futuristic e-reader that's gonna guide our students step-by-step -step through an analysis of a longer text or in later chapters, pairs of texts. Text selections are broad and, and include experts from, from great literary classics and speeches, as well as uh, particular things we've developed that are in-world texts. Lastly, the creative application. 
to reinforce the skills that students learn and practice in the chapters. The chapter will culminate in a task where students create new content that impacts the story itself. The application of knowledge is, is really fun and it also provides great material for teachers to discuss with their class uh, or even students individually. In addition to the instructional chapters that are part of the program, students also have access to text-based comprehension practice. So there's a whole component of the program that we call practice, where students are able to do just that. They're, they're practicing general comprehension and their new analytical reading skills on both literary and informational short text. So you can think of it almost like a bank of texts and items that that push the skills that students are gaining further and giving them more repetition with them. So let's take a look. To get the best sense for the program, I, I thought we'd launch into some of the experience just like our students do. So immediately after logging into Amplify Reading for the first time, students are introduced to the world of the last readers through a comic introduction. So here's a quick glimpse of what that feels like. The Last Readers, book one. Elimination. Humanity is trapped here in the dome. Studied like lab rats, docile, ignorant. And our only hope rests with you. We call ourselves the last readers. And so our students learn about the future world they are part of and the role they're going to play in helping their fellow humans. After this introduction, students select their avatar. This is who will represent them throughout their story. Students are then brought to the first map, which is really like a table of contents for the first book in the program. There are eight chapters and students will access each one by clicking the appropriate tile in the map. We start our story inside the dome. Clicking on the first chapter will launch the students into the comic introduction, which then sets the stage for the work they will be doing in that specific unit. The Last Readers, chapter one. A long time ago, we still had humes. To prove you're not a machine, you'll need to hack into their broadcast system and rattle their circuits with the message you've created. The rest is up to you. In this first chapter, students learn about the structure of arguments and how to create them. Then, by the end of the chapter, they'll make their own argument with evidence connected by reasons, and they'll broadcast that within the dome. Let's take a look at a later chapter, chapter four, where students learn about word choice and tone. In this lesson, students meet Garbage Bot, that character you see on the left side of my screen, who is their instructor for the unit. To engage our students, Garbage Bot will speak to them directly, and students can impact the course of the conversation with him based on their responses. This choose your own adventure structure maintains student motivation within the compelling storyline as they get to drive what happens next. Hooked on the purpose of the chapter, students then work with GarbageBot to learn about word choice and tone. So throughout the direct instruction component, students will engage with interactive questions with GarbageBot that support their learning. We develop specific interactives to help students really engage with the techniques authors use to convey meaning. For example, in this lesson, students use a tool we call the tone tessellator. They will plot words on a grid to help them understand whether words are positive or negative, strong or weak. Students use the tone tessellator and in combination with instruction, they are supported in identifying the tone a character took towards another character. And throughout the lesson experience, the program includes a series of features that enhance learning. We have recorded audio, so the texts that students read and analyze are recorded in a variety of voices and accents to provide natural sounding, professional quality audio with appropriate intonation. In addition, audio recordings of instructions and explanations allow students to hear the text while reading it. We have reveal words. Students are able to use the built-in dictionary tool to learn concise, 
context specific meanings of challenging words simply by hovering their cursor over any word underlined in the program. There's also immediate student feedback when students answer questions both correctly and incorrectly, which helps clarify and reinforce concepts. There's embedded assessment. Students are constantly assessed as they learn new concepts and skills so that students and teachers can monitor how well the concepts are mastered. When students answer questions incorrectly, they're often asked follow-up questions or offered review instructions. The instructions themselves are clear and they're illustrated. New concepts and skills are introduced to students with clear accessible definitions and explanations, and they're reinforced with illustrations and infographics. The program itself increases in complexity. Students are gradually challenged to take on more complex tasks as they learn new concept and skills. And lastly, there's scaffolding throughout the program. That way we're empowering all students to achieve mastery. In the second lesson of the unit, students will work analytically with text in a focused manner. We designed a special e-reader that supports zooming in and focusing on particular parts of the text. Guided through feedback and instruction, students will carefully analyze parts of the text and respond to questions. Students work with both literary and informational text in this format. In this specific lesson, students are working with a text that was specially designed for the program. Students will do lots of other activities in this part of the chapter including working with multiple texts and tagging texts with specific evidence types. Just an example of the tagging. In the final lesson of the unit, students engage with the maker activity where they'll craft their own argument utilizing what they've learned in the lesson. After students create their argument, it will present itself in that final outro comic we were talking about at the end of the chapter. Here, our students will see that their argument is on the billboards of the dome. At the end of the chapter, students will then be rewarded for the effort they put into the chapter with more followers and customizations for their avatar. And alongside this compelling student experience, educators can access reports, student work, and a teacher guide. We will release TEKS alignment for each chapter soon, so stay tuned for more information. Individual adults, schools, and districts in Texas can access Amplify Reading Texas 6-8. You can visit our website, select the button that best describes your role, and create your account. Caregivers and individual teachers will use self-service tools only available for Texans to get started. Schools and districts will be contacted by Amplify's implementation team for account creation support. To access Amplify Reading Texas 6-8, students will need an internet connected device. The program supports Windows devices, Chromebooks, and MacBooks. Unfortunately, the program is not compatible with iPads. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to Val. Thanks, Melissa. Now we're going to quickly talk about where, when, and how you can get materials as well as sign up for upcoming webinars. So as a reminder, you can access the instructional materials for Amplify Reading Texas, as well as all of our Amplify products by going to amplify.com slash Texas Home Learning and starting the self-enrollment process there. You can also link to that by going to the Texas Home Learning website itself, uh, which will direct you to the self-enrollment process. We do have an upcoming webinar I wanted to flag for you. So tomorrow, we're actually going to be talking about Amplify ELAR Texas, which is our core product for six through eight. Um, so you can see uh, exactly what that core product looks like and also how that would work with Amplify Reading Texas six through eight. You can register on texashomelearning.org for that. We're also excited to announce an implementation training series on Amplify Reading that will be coming in early 2021. This will be a series that will be available to watch on demand after each session has completed if folks are unable to attend live. We'll send registration out for that soon, as well as posting it on texashomelearning.org and featuring it in our THL newsletter. And finally, you can always go to texashomelearning.org to access any of our materials for any of our products. 
to view all of the upcoming webinars and PD sessions, to see recorded webinars, so the materials from this session as well as today's recording should be posted there soon, and then sign up for future updates, including our weekly newsletter. And with that, we will turn it over to Q&A. I see a question coming through in the chat about if tomorrow's Amplify ELAR session is a repeat from before. No, this will be a session that will um, come with the release of our unit A's. Um, so folks will be able to start the Amplify 6.8 core curriculum tomorrow as well with unit A's. And so we'll be walking through the platform um, for Amplify 6.3 as well as talking a little bit about the unit A's themselves in tomorrow's session. So feel free to put, put questions in the chat or in the Q&A and we'll, we'll work to answer these. So I see a question here saying, if we used Amplify for other grades and have included six, eight students in our upload, will those students have access to Amplify Reading Texas tomorrow? Amplify, can one of y'all jump in? Thanks, Maya. Sure. So, um, Kathy, that's a good question. So today is the first day um, that districts and individuals and schools in Texas can opt in. Um, so, so if you are representing a school or a district, um, our team will get a message and you'll get some outreach from the implementation team. You, If you're already using Amplify for other grades, the process may move more quickly, um, but without knowing the details of your setup, I cannot give you um, a, a an exact timeline um, tomorrow uh, seems ambitious. We'd likely need to add, um, we need to get you know, additional information from, from you about the students who would need access to the program um, and we'd need uh, time on our side. So it could say we'd move, move, move quickly, uh, but tomorrow would be ambitious. And then I see another question here about what's being offered for free for six through eight, the core and the supplement. That is correct. So both ELAR Texas 6 through 8, the core product, and then Amplify Reading Texas 6 through 8, the supplemental product, will be free to all Texans uh, for a three year license period. And then it looks like we have a question in the Q&A about if the story and questions are the same for each grade level or if there are individual stories and skills by grade level. Yes, so um, the experience is broken out into three books and for um, for our middle school students, the experience is is sequential. So all students, regardless of their grade level, start at the beginning. Um, when our pacing recommendations are followed, that that breaks down to, you know, one about one book per per grade. Um, but some students move through more quickly and, and that's OK. So we have another question in the Q&A about if there's an option for district leaders to acquire a login to look at the program before providing rostering information. Uh, Maya, I believe that's correct. Can you confirm? Um, I, I also believe that is correct, um, but can we follow up with Alice after the call to make sure we're giving her the most up-to-date information? That sounds great. And then we have a question here about for the trilogy, if book one is sixth grade, two is seventh grade, and three is eighth grade. And Maya, I think what I heard you say is that that 
based on pacing is often how it works out, but students can work through it at any speed. And so they could get through those um, at a faster pace than one per year. Is that yes, correct? That is correct. And I guess one additional comment, since uh, this is likely the first time that all students are using Amplify Reading 6.8, we recommend that all students, regardless of grade, will start in the first book upon using the program for the first time. Well, we are certainly happy to stay on and answer questions as they come through, um, but folks are welcome to drop if they need to. Just wanted to thank you so much for joining us. I know how busy everyone is, uh, but we're really excited about rolling this product out and really glad that everyone could join us. If you have more questions, uh, we'll be here, uh, but otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, so I see a question here about uh, if you can use the reading materials or choose to use um, both the core curriculum and the reading materials. That is correct. So you can use both products. You can use one or the other um, up to you um, on, on what is best for, for your school and your kiddos. And then is there a location to view the webinar if I need to revisit for information? Yes, we will be posting it on texashomelearning.org. So if you go to the site, you can see a webinar library at the top and we post all of our webinars, both the materials and the recordings there for folks to view. We usually get that up in a, a day or so. So you should hopefully see that pop up um, in the next couple of days. Val, I see one in the chat as well about how the program adjusts for struggling readers. Um, so is it adaptive as students miss question? So there are a couple of answers to this question, Beth. So uh, the teacher can actually decide if students should be on the core or extra support track. The extra support track is designed for students who may be reading below a middle school grade level and would benefit from additional um, scaffolds and supports within their experience. But for students on both tracks, as they move through the program, the, the program will provide additional scaffolding if students' um, responses are indicating that that's the support they need. So a little bit of both. Right, last call for questions. Val, we will reach out to you directly about Alice's question. That sounds great. All right, well, once again, thank you so much for joining us and have a great rest of your day.